everyone i'm shisha so um in this project in this spring boot project we'll uh, like see how a web uh, api can be consumed so uh, we'll have two different uh, services uh, one will produce the data and another will consume the data or it will print the data so the communication between these two will happen through uh, restful api so yeah i'm using um, sts uh, as an ide so what we'll do is like uh, we'll go to file new and spring starter project and we can select uh, spring web and spring web services and click on finish um yeah it, the project will be down um, maven project uh, will be downloaded with all dependencies in uh, from the spring started of spring.io yeah uh, i have since i have already created two uh, projects uh, this serve a data body and consume data body so serve data body will now uh, produce the data and the consumed data body will consume the data so like you know um we'll go to list the solar i mean this is a this is the main class uh i have created a solar system okay uh this is annotated with that right component and um i am i have defined so few fields here and in the post constructor method i have initialized the data here so whenever the application starts before um the url has been hit um the data i mean the this will be initialized the values will be initialized so in the controller in this controller class i am just uh, sending the data so uh, this will be rest controller and in the request mapping um, i have given solar system and a defined me a method here called solar system which will um, send returned that data uh, which has already been initialized um, yeah which are also already been initialized so get mapping because the other uh, service will get the data from um, this service so i have used this so the url which you're gonna hit will be localhost since i'm using the same laptop 8080 will be the default port solar system here for request mapping and this will be for get mapping so this will be the url hit by the other service um yeah this one is just for our testing purpose and uh, if you go to this consumer data body um this will be the main class uh, spring boot application here i have uh, created one method called uh, like rest template which will be used to um hit the url and get the response so this will be at bean uh, so spring will take care of this instance and everything so if you can go to this controller <coughs> this will also be rest controller and we have i have defined a method in service class called fetch api um this function will hit the url and get the response so this function has to be called so this function will be called by the uh, api controller so this function i am to call this function here i am just using this uh, restful api only so uh, the in i have again defined uh, get mapping here and in the response entity call api i am just calling that particular function so if you can go to this function um, that i have taken that uh, uh, same U url which has to be hit and in the response entity of the type string uh, i'm using this get for entity which uh, hits the url and uh, gets the response so if the response is successful uh, gets status code if 200 means successful uh, 400 means client error 500 means server error so if it is okay the response is successful i am printing on the console the res dot body uh, the whatever the data is there i am printing here if not i'll just print out the error so that's it i'm doing uh, in this one okay and if we go to this um, uh, yeah, controller uh, here if the status is code is successful uh, i'm returning the uh, yeah if the res response is successful then i'm returning the body i mean whatever the data is there or else i'm just returning the error code which i'm uh, like you know i'm getting so yeah so now we have to like you know run both the services so yeah before running make sure um to uh, the both services are not running on the same port so here in consumer i am running uh, on the 8081 port and server will run on the 8080 port so yeah we can run like this so um yeah to call this function uh, call api we can use um this url so this will be 8081 fetch and api and fetch so api and fetch so what i can do is i can copy this open in a browser 
and okay i have already done i'll just do it again if you can plus 